Okay, so, um, Cassian Adventures. So what do those look like? Maybe instead of me trying to draw, I'll have you trying to draw. So you have... That's a kind of a skinny, maybe... No, actually, your works better for you. Alright, so... Been the tripod. Um, you have, instead of just a number line, you have this plane. And you have the units now. You have four units. Or the units are two units, one one and I. An I is the square root of negative one. Okay, so I is is a new type of number we've introduced here. Uh, and it has the property that I squared is minus one. Yeah. Yep. And also it it's a unit. So that's a good thing that you said that. What does what does it mean? Like if I multiply a number by i, why doesn't it change the length? Or what does a length of a number even mean in the context of this imaginary plane? Uh, well, I think multiplying it by i, I think you'd actually rotate it maybe, like rotating it around the origin, so it wouldn't actually change the distance away. Okay, yeah, that's actually a great observation. Did you learn that in the book, that multiplying by i is a rotation? I think I talked about it, but like if you multiply... Just pick any, pick, just make make a number. Uh, pick a Gaussian integer that's not currently labeled and then show what it looks like when you multiply by i. So let's do two, or yeah, two plus i. Two plus i, okay. And then that this would transform into, you multiply both of these terms by i, so you get 2i plus i squared, which is minus 1. So minus 1 plus 2i. Minus 1 plus 2i. So you go from here to here. Yep. That kind of shows the rotation. Um, so you rotate, I think, 90 degrees counterclockwise. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, here, we don't have the whole plane, though, here. We just, we have a grid of numbers. And so maybe you could sort of highlight the grid. So the grid, all right. So we have, just go out from the origin, like this. All right, now that's good. And then this would go, like the number line, it would go on infinitely long. All right. Great, and, and um, what other properties about, uh, we can, what are the, some other things we can do with these numbers? Um, well, we can do, we, there are some of the same properties as the regular integers, as the other system of integers, so you can add. Okay. Um, so say if you had i and 2 plus i. Um, and you would serve, what you would do is take the length of i and you see how, how you get to the the origin from that and you just take it and you put it on the on 2 plus i and that that's how you add. Okay. So you get 2, 2 plus 2i. Two and subtracting would work the same way. You would, if you had a unit Actually, it would be similar to addition. If you had a unit of negative i, you would take it and then or take it and move it here and get to two. Mm -hmm. And I think we discussed multiplication. Yeah. Now we should have been a little bit more careful in the last video about division because even with integers, division doesn't always give you an integer. No, it's not closed. But you can you can you can figure that out. Okay. So good, so we have some basic properties here. Now let's talk about primes for the last video.